heat rash is is not really a rash from the heat. So let's yeah. talk about uh, common things that happen to folks in the summer. What about heat rash? Yes, I'm seeing a lot of that in the summertime. Um, heat rash is, is not really a rash from the heat or, ca or caused by being overheated. Um, this is actually a rash that's caused by inflammation in the sweat glands. And it's most common on the uh, underarms, under the breasts, or in the groin area. But you can see it on the trunk here, which is a very, you know, in, in a very severe case of these red kind of angry bumps. Um, in order to prevent heat rash, I advise patients and, and other people just don't sit around and sweaty workout clothes because those sweaty workout clothes are blocking those sweat glands and causing more inflammation as well as you want to you want to clean your skin regularly with something like this which is an antibacterial soap and you really want to make sure that you you apply it to those fold areas on a regular basis and if you're getting breakouts from the heat rash and you want to treat it um, a topical over-the-counter cortisone cream like this one is really helpful. You want to apply it twice a day to the affected areas um, for about a week, and it should improve by then. Um, also, using a light moisturizer will also be very soothing. If they do have too much sun exposure, if they yeah. do get sunburned, how do you properly treat that? The, the most important thing is to treat it as you would treat any other burn with hydration and anti-inflammatory type lotions. One of the best ones is actually aloe. And I have the plant right here. Mm -hmm. um, you can get it directly from the plant if you have it there. But they also make many formulations of aloe. And what you're looking for is one like this one that says 100% aloe. You really want a high quality of aloe that can reduce the inflammation as well as hydrate the skin. And you want to make sure that the aloe that you have doesn't have anything that's going to irritate the skin such as fragrance or cane anesthetics or alcohol. Alcohol, you really right. Want to yep. Soothing, yep. right. And you can, you can use this twice a day if your skin is a little red and inflamed. If it becomes blistered or it's really covering the majority of your body, that's a good time, though, to contact your doctor. Yeah, that can actually be quite severe and dangerous. Yeah. Dr. Chavez, thank you so much. I have to come in. And I think I'm going to I'm going to need two bags to carry everything I need to stock up. On. <laughs> well, thank you so much for having me. I hope to see you soon. Uh, I, I will see your beautiful face soon. I hope your beautiful family as well, too. And thank you so much well, for getting everybody you. ready to go. Thank you so much. Take care. Uh, take care, my thank love. You.